What's up you guys back here with another video and uh, I want to get my recap and my reaction to UFC fight night Calvin Cater taking on Josh Emmett in the main event and I'm also going to be talking about in the Coleman event Kevin Holland taking on Tim Means um, the fight itself the card itself was fantastic eight finishes like that's Again, UFC Fight Nights always freaking deliver. Sometimes more than the pay-per-view at times. Man, what, what an amazing um, card, man. And the main event was awesome. Guys, please make sure to subscribe. Really would appreciate it. Leave those comments down in the comment section. Really would appreciate it. And uh, so, yeah. Uh, main event, Cater, Emmett. Fantastic. Great showing of skills. And um, patience, especially within the first round. Uh, I, I felt like Kavitar had the better boxing in this fight. I mean, he has good boxing. Anyways, uh, Emmett, really good overhand over the top. And he definitely displayed that throughout, throughout the fight. Um, the fight, to me, was really super close. I, I'm not mad at the split decision that happened. But the, to me, the fight was stu stupid close. Um... You know, Cater with the boxing, using his range and distance, um, keeping Emmett away with the jab, busting him up with the jab. Um, but the power difference was in display, and I feel like Emmett had the more power advantage. I mean, Cater kind of said it in between rounds. You know, his coach was asking him, like, yo, what's up? Why are you not, you know, moving forward as much? You know, what what is it that he's doing that, you know, that's making you guess? You know, he said he was loading up. So basically the power. And the power was definitely on display um, for sure in the main event. Like, Emmett has, for a little dude, he 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 can pop. Um, you know, but Emmett, I think he uh, did a fantastic job. I love when he started mixing it up to the body. A little bit of late case, but more mixing it up to the body. Definitely, um, I felt like he hurt Cater in the later rounds with one good body shot. Um, again, this fight was crazy close um i feel like for me i feel like emma kind of was taking the fourth a little bit but definitely took the third the rounds one and two was close um round four is when it kind of started to change for me a little bit I, you know it started off the same but then kato definitely came back hit him with a nasty spinning elbow you know it didn't and i'm surprised he ate that because he he got hit really really good um you know, it was I, I felt like it was up to the fifth round, whoever wanted it more. And um you know, it was a close fight. You know, again, um Emmett ended up winning by split decision. Um I thought it was a fantastic fight. I didn't care who really win. Um I mean I do a little bit, but not really. Because especially when both guys give it they all in the main event, I, I freaking love that and love seeing them do that. You know, fighting their hearts out. It was it was a great fight. Um let me know down in the comment section what are you guys' thoughts on the uh, main event. Now, the co-main event was supposed to be Cerrone and Lozon. Obviously, that fight didn't happen. Again, I feel like they should scrap it. So, in that place, took Tim Means taking on Kevin Holland. Um, yeah, Kevin Holland. Holland, he's a savage, man. He's all over the place at times, but it works for him. You know, he's talking smack. Um, definitely the takedown defense was there. It looked good. He looked good against Tim Means. Tim Means a savage coming forward, fighting with Kevin Holland, you know, until the second round, I believe, is when he rocked Tim Means on the feet, got him to, you know, I believe Means shot for the takedown. Um, within doing that, uh, Kevin Holland locked in a nice, beautiful darts choke, uh, to get the tap from Tim Means. Um... Again, I feel like Kevin Holland's a savage. I love when he talks smack. You know, he's talking less smack now. You know, he's still doing his thing talking, but he's talking a lot less. Um, but I love watching the fight, man. He always brings it to the table. He always brings the fighter people. You know, he's always coming forward. His strikes are phenomenal. You know, I don't feel like he's the biggest power puncher, but he definitely, you know, has power. But I feel like he, you know, he's not that one-punch person as much. You know, I'm not saying he don't, you know, you know, you know, um, it was an uh, amazing fight between those two. Congratulations, Kevin Holland. And, um, 
Josh Emmett in their f respective fights. And uh, again, I want to know what you guys' thoughts. Put them down in the comment section. Really would freaking appreciate it. And uh, guys, if you guys like the video, make sure to throw the thumbs up. Would appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.